So lately I've been noticing a lot of references of other animations and monster animations these days, but I think we all know what's really going on. I mean, come on, Dragon Egg is totally How to Train Your Dragon. We can clearly see this scene is just a ripoff from the emotional scene from How to Train Your Dragon 1, but at least it was cool to see Flynn being a lightning dragon. Pretty unique, never really seen that before with a drag- Oh my god, Toos, this is also one! Well, I, I guess we could just say that Lone is Hiccup, Flynn is Toothless, Steve is Stoic, Alex is a background character. He was only ever seen for like 15 seconds of the animation. Um, then I guess me as Astrid. <sighs> now with Minecraft guys, I'm not really sure about you, but I'm totally getting Lego Batman vibes here. You've got the giant crack in the ground, just like off the movie. The male being lonely for most of the screen time, but eventually finds a small child to care for a bit. Yeah, definitely some family story vibes happening here. Speedrun, not a lot of animation idea copying here, but definitely some content creation stealing. Obviously, this scene here is the famous DNT portal scene. Monty even thought he could sneak in a little scene from one of Dream's manhunts. You get that extra revenue. Monty even went really deep with the animation to have it that he had the dream lock. Or should I say the dream hack? Monty even expanded the type of hack in the animation, like making this arrow somehow explode the bed. No! Last time I'm ever falling for a trick like that. I will say this, the only thing Mont failed to copy in this animation was to make Dream look more like Lord Farquaad. Redstone Christmas, I'll be honest, this animation was somewhat original from what I had seen, but uh, I, did, I did notice Mont trying to sneak something in here. I did notice that Mont was trying to recreate the popular story, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. To show you just how similar the situation was, obviously the character was trying to interfere with the Christmas spirit, which it did make some people upset and mad, but in the end, the uh, character realized his mistake and uh, let Christmas be. Yeah, uh, you really thought you could get away with that one, hey Mont? Alright, player vs piglin. Gonna be honest Mont, I didn't see you copy off any YouTube videos or movies or anything like that for this animation. To be honest, I was pretty proud of you. And then Minecraft Live came around the corner. Apparently Minecraft Live revealed that Mojang is releasing a brand new game called Minecraft Legends, which is basically how the overworld has to protect it from the nether. Which is exactly the plot for Player vs Piglin! Clearly Mont heard leaks about this upcoming game and decided to quickly make it into an animation. My goodness, he's expanded from movies to, to YouTube videos to, to video games. Sooner or later, he's going to go off and copy the other BPS animators' work. Surely, you wouldn't cross that line. Before this video ends, I just want to say this entire video was a joke. I do not mean anything mean. I just woke up one morning and thought, hey, I'm a diss on Mont's animation. <laughs> but yeah, please don't take the video seriously. Mont is a great animator, great storyteller. He's a great person. Go and, go and say hello to him. Just say he's a good animator for me, okay? But yeah, as always, if you guys enjoyed these videos, please consider subscribing. That'd be greatly appreciated. And I'm hoping to see all you guys in my next video. <gasps> Bye!